Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick flip through of this issue, the latest issue of Daphne's Diary. It came to me a couple of days ago in the mail and I quite like it. It's number four, 2021. And um, the date it says here, um, it doesn't, it doesn't have a date up there. It just says number four, 2021. Okay, um, I, I actually gave myself a subscription to this for my birthday, which was last November. So this is about the fourth or fifth issue I have received. And I, I've got to tell you, I really like the graphics. I like the typography in the book or in these magazines. Uh, and I like the way it's all laid out. And also I like the con quite a bit of the contents. Um, but I'm going to make this fairly quick because I don't like all my videos to be long and the last couple were pretty long. So here it says happiness is an envelope and this is, see, this is quite lovely, I think. And look at the bird with the, with the letter. And this is their table of contents, which I like. In fact, I love the way they set it out with photos and, you know, nice nice big um, page numbers. It's a little bit different than the average. First article is five ways to see Switzerland and they are like walking, cycling, sailing, train, and car. And my favorite would be the train. I couldn't think of anything I'd like better today than to take a train through Switzerland, but I don't think it's going to happen for me anytime soon. Strawberry ice creams. This is a great recipe for the hot, hot weather, and it's very hot here in Vancouver today. Um, it just takes water, fresh strawberries. It says sugar. I would use stevia, lemon juice, and then you blend it up in a blender and put it in the little molds and freeze it. Freeze them. Okay. And this is summer shopping, just ideas of things or things that Daphne likes that you can purchase, not from her necessarily. Um, I think this is beautiful, this butterfly, and I like this color. It's kind of um, pinky gray and uh, some kind of a blue, lovely. Um, I'm never parting with this, and it's a old antique sewing kit. Um, letterbox. This is a, a little. Um, oh, I see. You cut it out. It's not a. It's not a punch out thing. I don't think. No. You you cut this out and it, you you make this. And this is another page of things that you can, or things to help you create that box. Mother's tips for going on holiday. Look at the little kitty with the ice cream cone. It's so cute. Okay, Miney and Jim and their castle full of treasures. I think this is amazing. This little couple, and they're so cute. Look how cute they are. Anyway, they have this big castle, and it's full of vintage treasures. They also have a little store in their castle. Anyway. I would like to poke through that place for sure. It's so lovely. Oh my goodness. Um, back and forth three times a night. Yeah, this is their little store, I think. They sell vintage items. And this is Jim and his, he has an antique Hudson Super 6, it's called. It's an old car. Pretty cool. Now this is leftovers day. This is a regular article of what to do with leftovers. And here, vegetables left in the fridge, you can make a healthy veggie pizza. And the leftover cauliflower from today, you can use to make roasted cauliflower steaks tomorrow. And then these are everyday objects. Um, that's something about the ginseng root. There, it's very easy to get ginseng here in Vancouver. A 
there's stores that have nothing but practically nothing but ginseng in them. Um, there's a huge demand for it here where I live. Life is better in flip flops. Now this is a, a little freebie thing, and you can punch these out. They're little labels, and they're designed to put on um, put on toiletries. That these mini bottles that you put toiletries in when you go on vacation. But seeing as how I'm not going to be going on vacation in the near anywhere in the near future, I would use these anyway and I'd use them as labels for something else like in my journals or something even if I went on vacation I probably wouldn't use them exactly but for their intended purpose but I like them um, this is about a guest house it's called Un Parfum de Violette and it's really a beautiful place. You can go and stay there. I don't know where it is, and I don't have time to look right now, but it's gotta be in Europe. It's very beautiful. And this is sleep in a gypsy caravan. Something I would love to do. I would love to go on a little vacation in a caravan like this. It just takes away my my imagination just starts to go crazy when I think of things like that okay this is a recipe avocado and spinach salad and it looks pretty darn good I would say um, there's an there's an orange and orange juice avocado spinach um, almonds sesame seeds yeah Oh, and, and some grated cheese. And then this is making how to make a reading table using magazines that you just fold into cylinders. And this, I think, is some kind of an elastic cord or something. And you make a top and a bottom. A cup of flowers, how to design a really pretty centerpiece, which is a cup filled with flowers. And make, how to make little felt dolls. <laughs> They're so pretty. Including fairies and elves. Very sweet. Um, these are, people have written in and sent photos of things that they've made from Daphne's diary projects. And this is how to make this paper heart. Inkwell Cottage. Now, Inkwell Cottage is in the Cotswolds in England. And it's very picturesque, isn't it? Isn't this beautiful? My goodness. Here in Canada, in Western Canada, where I live, there's nothing like that at all. Nothing. It, everything here is so much newer. Look at how beautiful that street is. I'd like to go there. I've been to England a few times, but I haven't ever um, been to the Cotswolds. Now this is the Four Seasons poster. It's not the Four Seasons poster, it's the summer poster, but there are going to be three more, which will make to all four seasons. And this, this one, I don't know how much of it you can see, but maybe you can see the, pretty much the whole thing if I do that. It's big and I don't think I would cut it out and put it on my wall, but I would, I will use this for something for some project for sure nice beautiful big piece of paper like that with a beautiful design um, it could be used as wrapping paper but also it could be used like for pages in a book or something like that okay ways to boost your self-confidence funny rice okay here's four times 
Okay, this is like four different ways to use strawberries. And look at dipping them. I've only done dipping them in chocolate, and I thought that was pretty crazy, but this is all these different ways. They're so, so nice. That would be so good at a party. And then pancakes with strawberry syrup, a strawberry salad with smoked chicken, strawberry smoothie with mint, um, dried flower paintings. You actually use real dried flowers and, and, um, and you glue them on the, on the back, on your substrate and, and paint them something like that. Okay, this is about colors. What's your favorite color? And this is like the meanings behind the various colors, which is very interesting, actually. You know, I, I love purple. It says the color purple has a rich history. Purple is the color of emperors, kings and queens. Purple fabric was very difficult to produce, and that meant purple was a luxury until the 19th century. And after that, it became the color of female emancipation. And fans of purple are thought to be sensitive and artistic. Purple is also, or sorry, purple is often associated with spirituality. Okay, how to make a beautiful bird feeder for your garden using a bottle, a plastic bottle. I can't do that, I'm not allowed, because my cat will attack the birds. I would not draw bird, uh, it's too bad, because I love birds and bird feeders, but no way. Now these are recipe cards. This one's for a quiche, and this one is for toast with avocado, asparagus, and fried eggs, and they just kind of pop out, like you just, you can, you know, they just come out of the magazine like that. And every issue has a couple of these. And then this is a gift box that you can make. And it also, you, you just, you know, it just comes out like that. It's, this is very nice kind of card stock. And it looks like this when it's done. And look at this beautiful, the leftover paper. So after you pop this out, you can use this gorgeous golden um, paper for whatever, for all kinds of things. Very pretty. This is a story, The Beardies of the Big Toadstool Village. Tie-dye, how to tie-dye things, which is so much fun in the summer, especially when we were kids, we used to do it in our backyard. Take stuff all kinds of towels and things out of the house and tie-dye them all and our mom didn't mind. Um, 10 best holiday memories <clears throat> and this is a little page where you can you can list them and put some photos and this is about a flea market that is somewhere in Belgium probably wonderful I'm well not probably I'm sure it's absolutely wonderful and then this is a painting that the author purchased at that flea market. I like this a lot. Aren't these pretty? These are ice cubes and they're made with flowers. You dry the flowers, or, or I don't think you have to dry them, sorry. You just um, make ice cubes in your refrigerator or your freezer and you stick Flower, edible flowers into them and then they look like this so gorgeous and put them in a drink and I don't know something about that's just lovely okay this is about the maypole um, which is a tradition in many countries and I don't know why this isn't in the more springtime issue but it's okay you know maypoles are good And then here's another recipe. It's for creamy pumpkin soup with chickpeas. And this is it, and it looks pretty good to me. I'd like somebody to make that for me. 
This is, uh, but nobody's going to. So if I want it, I'll make it myself. Um, this is a coloring page, ice cream. And a, a very interesting article actually about Coco Chanel. And it, I didn't even, I never really connected the no, Chanel number no. five with Coco Chanel, but obviously it's her. And uh, I love that, this perfume, um, Chanel number no. five. It's so classic and it's so beautiful. And the, it has some quotations um, from Coco Chanel herself. She says, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And here it says, my life didn't please me, so I created my life. Well, good for her. Um, this is, uh, you, can, you can make something, it tells you how to make something like this with using, you know, tearing up pieces of this paper. These, these, this is the um, paper that's in every issue. Well, of course, it's different in every issue, but it's double-sided. And I always use these pages. I make journal pages out of them and stuff like that because I love the double-sidedness. And I think that they're gorgeous. Like this, I don't know, it's so nice. Yeah. And then this one that has musical instruments and then a beautiful mandala on the other side. And this is a little um, review of a book called The Italian Girl. A little bit about the author. And the last page is um, about Daphne's diary web shop. You know, they sell things. This is a pocket full of different papers. And this is a beautiful hydrangea. Lovely, so nice. Have a great day. See you soon, Daphne. And that's it. So thank you very much for being with me and for coming, looking through this magazine with me. I'm happy that I got it for myself for my birthday because it keeps coming every couple of months. I think I get eight issues per year and I only bought one year's worth. It's pretty expensive actually, but I don't know. I, I kind of think it's worth it. It's, it makes me feel special to receive this because I treated myself to something special. And um, anyway, thanks so much again for being with me. And do subscribe to my channel and do enter my giveaway. I have a giveaway every month. And this month um, is no, no different from every other month. And I'll be, I'll be drawing the names, all, all the rules of it are listed in the description box below. It's really simple and everybody's welcome to enter it and you can enter more than once. Anyway, thanks again and do take care. I love you all. Bye.